Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I am one of the lucky few who uh, have health insurance. I am self-employed and I pay for my own insurance. And I've used it on a very regular basis. Uh, just recently I went in uh, to get my finger checked out. You might remember a few weeks ago I was having some issues with my finger. It's gotten much better, my middle finger. I should really stop flipping off Diana. Uh, she, she kind of pulled hard that last time. I'm kidding, we never do that. So uh, we don't, really. I mean, we, we don't flip each other off. That's not a really good thing to do in a relationship. But you may feel like you want to flip off the uh, health insurance industry, especially if it's difficult for you to get in, in, in as someone who is self-employed. Uh, if you're a contract worker, uh, you know, you do freelance work. I don't know if you knew that there were a lot of options out there for you. I'm lucky enough here in the Seattle area, there's a cooperative that I belong to and very reasonable rates. Uh, you know, when I, you know, ask other people, you know, what, you know, they pay for health insurance, I'm, I'm shocked to find that I, I don't pay as much as they do and I still think it's expensive. But at least I'm covered, and uh, I feel like I've, I've got a pretty good relationship with my doctor. It was really funny. We went in there to you know, talk about my kind of, it was, a, I, I may have pulled some kind of uh, muscle here, and it's fine now, as I said. Uh, and I, I can't remember how we got on the topic, but uh, we were kind of joking around, and, and I, I, made, I, I made up something and said, I, I, what was it, something like about being a hypochondriac? And he says, don't even joke about that. Apparently, he gets his time wasted by a lot of people who really think that, my, heart, my hair hurts, doctor, it hurts, it hurts. I'm sure there are people out there like that, not me. But hey, if they're paying for it, I guess they don't care. Uh, so a few options for you if you are not insured, as we had outlined, this is largely based on an experience that uh, one of our contributors, Matt Ryan, had gone through. Uh, Kelly Clay had written this article here on Locker, and let me go ahead and plus one that tweet it and like it on Facebook. Uh, it's linked in the description of this video in case you're wondering. Cobra, not the G.I. Joe enemy, but Cobra is an option for you. Uh, there is also a few different places like eHealth Insurance to help you compare plans. It really works. And if you aren't comparing your plans to others, uh, you're not a fully educated consumer. And I know that some of my audience are, are too young to have to worry about this stuff. Uh, and, and hopefully, with any luck, in time, uh, it'll be easier for everybody to have health insurance, at least in this country. And I know there are plenty of people out there uh, who um, you know, don't live in this country, and they get your, their health benefits covered, and it's not a problem. Of course, they pay a lot more in taxes, but uh, and they live in a completely different country than America. Well, if you call America a country, even though it's really the Americas, the United States of America, the good old USA... Uh, you know, I'm not trying to start up like a health insurance debate. The bottom line is, is you know, if you need help getting health insurance, there are some resources uh, we've put together that may be able to help, including one option of talking to your parents. Uh, there may be an opportunity for you to be on their plan, uh, you know, even if you're not necessarily around all the time. So uh, just something to keep in mind, and of course, I hope everybody's staying healthy. I hope you're not running into uh, any issues with your health. I do my best uh, to stay healthy. I don't really exercise as much as I should, kind of getting up there in age. <clears throat> health insurance is so 1920s. Over here in the UK, says DC Gaiden. MBP 2035 says, I don't have health insurance. Too expensive. Check into the options we've listed for you. It's They're actually quite reasonable. Uh, I'm from the UK, though. I want to move to the USA. Well, I think we'd be happy to, to take uh, one more person. I, I think we can handle that. At least I would hope. Uh, I've got a massive cold, unfortunately, says Code Computer Guy. I get, Code Computer Guy. I got a code. He's Code Computer. No, he says he has a cold and he spelled it correctly. I just thought it was kind of a fun little play on words. Canada Free-ish Health Insurance says is BM666. Wow. Um, yeah, and then someone here, yeah, that's me. I'm way too young, but I'm bookmarking those videos and articles I will need in the future, says Lisa M. Card. That's the point. At some point, you're going to get older. You're going to need these options, and you're going to remember, wait a minute, Chris Perillo and the crew at Locker Gnome helped with this particular issue years ago, and I thought it wasn't interesting, but maybe it was, and may actually, well, potentially save you a lot of money. That's what we like doing at Locker Gnome, giving you tech-related information and making it accessible because we give you a handful of tools that you can use online uh, to uh, you know, get the job done.